to give you a quick update of what's been happening here at the Redemption HQ. For several months now, we've been laboring, we've been building this beautiful facility for the glory of God. I want to start by giving you a big thank you. Thank you for standing with us. Thank you for giving. Thank you for praying. Thank you for doing whatever has been required to get this work to this level. For the past several months now, we've been laboring to put the finishings onto the building. We have been putting the windows in there. We've been doing the bathrooms. We've been doing the floors. And they are all ready, ready for you to come and see God's goodness in this season in Jesus' name. Now, we're getting to that level of the finishings where we need to get the glass into the building. As you can see, the windows have all been done, the doors have all been put together, and now we need to get the glass in there. I want to encourage you, I want to invite you to stand with us at this phase as we get the glass done in this season of the redemption finishings. I know it's been a long journey. Some of you are probably saying, ah, oh, wow, it's taken so long. Don't you worry. We're just about the finish line and we're asking you for one more push. Give us that push so we can get the glass into the building. This is the redemption finishings and we are getting ready to finish this facility in Jesus' name. Good morning, Pastor Ivan here, welcoming you to the Redemption Revolution service. We're glad you could join us as we continue to delve deeper into the sermon series titled Possessing the Land. You've been talking to us, you've been sending us your messages, letting us know that this sermon series is a blessing to you. It is all the anointing of God. It is all the wisdom of God that is making it happen in your life. Now, before we get into the rest of the service, I want us to start with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word. We thank you for your wisdom. We thank you for your power. We thank you for the gift of grace. We thank you for the gift of salvation. We thank you, Lord God, for this teaching series that you have released in this time, in this season, to help your people be better, be more productive in their lives. As we get into your word today, we thank you, Lord God, because our lives are being changed, our lives are being transformed to the glory and honor of your name. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. Amen. Right about now, I'm going to hand you over to Redemption Sound that will be leading us in a session of praise and worship. And thereafter, Bishop Richard and Pastor Charles will be coming in to lead us in the ministry of the Word. God bless you as you receive what God has prepared this morning. Thank you. Hey, hey. Oh, 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 oh,
Rejoice and be glad
to give back to you. Oh, I have come to say thank you, Lord. I have come to give back to you. Oh, Lord, I'd hail a crow with a 
blessings, many, many blessings. I salute you.
Welcome to this Redemption Revolution service. Richard Lutwama, Pastor Charlie, here at the Redemption Studio. This is another beautiful day that the Lord has made. Amen. We bless the name of the Lord for being here and for all the people that are connecting and tuning in all around the world. God bless you so much. We trust that today is that day and God is going to do something special in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Today is your special day. The blessing, the grace, the goodness of God is going to find you and is going to show you his goodness in the land of the living. Amen. Before we get into the word today, Pastor Charlie, give us a quick report about that beautiful helmet. Yes, You've been baking that helmet for a while. Yes, sir. What is going on? God is a good God. God is doing some incredible stuff here mm -hmm. and the Redemption HQ God uh, is uh, causing us and helping us build a beautiful sanctuary. We are super excited because we have built uh, the foundation is up, the walls are up, the roof is on and right now we are finishing. We are putting everything uh, necessary for you to come and find the place as habitable as can be, as comfortable as can be so we invite you to come and be a part of us with that financial uh, offering, with that seed, to sow that seed and be a part of building the house of the Lord together. Hallelujah. Amen. You can uh, send us that offering on the phone numbers you see on your screen, or you can just reach out to us on those same numbers, and we will give you more detail on how you can stand with this good work of building the kingdom. Amen. Now, for the past two months, we've been talking about possessing the land. Yes, sir. It's quite appropriate because yes, we are possessing the land, entering a new building, yep. and uh, just occupying that space. Mm -hmm. But it is also true that God wants you to possess many things in your life. Yes. The Bible actually says that uh, all of us who are in the New Testament, God has given us so many beautiful promises mm. so they can star us on to possess them. Hallelujah. So there's a promise for healing you mm. need to possess, a yes, promise sir. for prosperity, for health, yes, sir. for wealth, yes, sir. for ministry, mm. your business, mm. your career, your mm. family. All those are loaded with promises Hallelujah. that you need to possess. And if you're going to possess the land, you must have the attitude, the mindset of a warrior. Yes. You must know that you're a soldier now. Mm -hmm. You're part of God's army. Amen. You know, when the children of Israel, Joshua and that generation were going into the promised land, God literally recruited all of them yes, and he brought them into the army of God. Yes, and yes, today sir. as we share the word of God, we want to tell you, we want to show you, we want to star you on and show you how you're part of God. God's army and how you should carry out your mission as God's ambassador on the earth. Hallelujah. Pastor Charlie is going to take us to the book of Joshua. Mm. He's going to read <clears throat> chapter 5 and chapter 6, several verses there, as we get into the word of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Joshua chapter 5 from verse number 13 uh, through 15 and uh, chapter 6, 1 through 5. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, the scripture says, when Joshua was by Jericho. Mm -hmm. He lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, a man was standing before him with drawn sword in his hand. And Joshua went to him and said to him, Are you for us or for our adversaries? Mm -hmm. And he said, No, but I am the commander of the army of the Lord. Amen. Now I have come. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and worshipped and said to him, What does my Lord say to his servant? Mm -hmm. And the commander of the Lord's army said to him, Take off your sandals for from, uh, from your feet, uh, from your feet, for, for the place where you're standing is holy. And Joshua did so. Now Jericho was shut up inside and outside because mm -hmm. of the people of Israel. Nan went out and Nan came in. Mm. And the Lord said to Joshua, See, I have given Jericho into your hand with its king and mighty men of valor. Mm. You shall march around the city, all the men of war going around the city once. Mm. That shall you do for six days. Mm. Seven priests shall bear seven trumpets of ram's horns mm. before the ark. Mm. On the seventh day, you shall march around the city seven times, mm. and the priests shall blow the trumpets. And when they make a long blast of the, of the ram's horn, when you hear the sound of the trumpet, then all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city shall fall down flat, and the people shall go up 
everyone straight before him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Beautiful portion of scripture. Yes, sir. Uh, someone title today is, You Are a Soldier. Lord. Hallelujah. And that is exactly what happened with Joshua. Yes, sir. He meets up with this angel mm. and he's getting ready to go into the promised land. They are mm. getting ready to take over Jericho. Mm. They meet up with this angel, Joshua, and the angel of God mm. meets up outside Jericho. Yes, sir. And the angel of God had his sword drawn. Mm. The man of God is called the commander of the Lord's host. This yes, is sir. God's uh, ambassador. Mm. Joshua looks at him and he says, um, what's going on? Are you on our side or are you against us? Yes, yes. Uh, the angel, the man, the commander, the man of God, the Lord. Mm. This was actually Jesus yes, sir. Uh, before he was even born. He mm. looks at Joshua and says, uh, as commander of the Lord's host, mm. I have come. I am the guy running God's army. Yes, sir. And you, Joshua, mm. you're my soldier now. Mm -hmm. You may have been a commander. You may have been a leader. Uh, but I want you to know, yes, in God's army, yeah. I've recruited you. Yes, sir. You're a soldier now. Hallelujah. And you know, guys, as a mm. child of God, we mm. must understand that we are part of God's army. Yes, sir. We are not part of your little army somewhere. Mm. No. You're not part of your mm. clan army. Yes, sir. You're not part even of your little district army. Mm. You're part of God's, God's army. army. You might be in the U.S army, the Uganda mm. army, the Kenya army, the, the Qatar army, mm. regardless of the physical attachments you have, mm. when you are a child of God, yes, you're literally part of God's God. Army. 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 That is so critical. And mm. that's what we want you to put in your mind and in your spirit now. You're a soldier now. You're a soldier. You're not a civilian anymore. No, you're not. You're not going about business like an ordinary Joe. Yes, sir. You are not any Jack, Tom, Dick, or Harry. Mm. You're a soldier you're now. A soldier. You're part of God's army. Hallelujah. You are doing things as a warrior. Yes, sir. You are a mighty warrior. Mighty Those warrior. were the same words to Gideon. You're mm. a mighty warrior. Mighty warrior. Those are the same words to you today. God mm. is speaking to you mm. and is saying you're going in to possess the land. Mm. You're not sister little. Nope. You're not brother nobody. Nope. You are a soldier Hallelujah. now. You are not going out there mm. on your own accord, yes, doing sir. your own thing. Your you are a soldier now. A soldier you now. have been recruited into Ooh. God's army. Yes, sir. The commander of the Lord's host is your king, your yeah. Jesus, yeah. and is telling you today, mm. you are a soldier, a soldier now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Understanding that helps us even as we venture into the things that God has given us. Yes. That possessing the land is going to cause you to fight. Yes. And some people have been saying, but you're telling us to fight, but we are little nurses and little accountants mm -hmm. and insignificant and weak people no. that have no nothing to do with combat. Mm -hmm. Now, God in this sermon, I, I love the text, he's telling these guys, I am the commander yes. of the army. Yes. I am the one that leads the army and I have come. I've come. Uh, in other words, God is recruiting you yeah. because not because you are a little nothing and nobody, mm -hmm. but because you are a very significant part of the war that is advancing. Yes. A, a war for you to possess the land, yes. to get into that market space and win and be victorious in what you're doing. You are a, 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 a soldier that is ready for combat and you should have that mindset you should have that attitude because God is recruiting you Hallelujah, Praise the Lord. guys you might look at yourself and think that you're a nobody mm. when God looks at you he sees a warrior, a warrior. the word of God calls you a warrior, Glory to God. the word of God, God calls you a soldier yes, he says fight the good fight because you're a fighter now, Hallelujah. you're a soldier now. Hallelujah. you are a man, a woman who's mm. been set apart by God yes, sir. as a warrior, the first thing that you must put in your spirit as we mm. get into the word of God today mm. is that first of all you're part of God's victorious yes, army. Sir. You are in God's victorious army. Yes, sir. You know there's nothing as beautiful, nothing as glorious mm. as knowing mm. that you know what? Mm. I am not standing alone. This is what God was saying to Joshua. Mm. Joshua, mm. you might think that you and your little nice uh, soldiers mm. are, have done well but, but you're not alone. Yes, sir. You are not doing okay, your you own thing. Mm. You are part of God's army, something bigger, yes, something sir. greater, yes, something sir. grander. Yes. Matter of fact, I'm recruiting you and all your nephews and mm. all your all your peoples, <laughs> and I'm, I'm putting them into God's victorious yes, army. Sir. And now I'm ready 
for you to go and take on Jericho. Glory We're to speaking God. to you, woman, yes, yes. in your situation. You're not oh, just an accountant. Shana, Faramante, you are a warrior. Faramante, Faramante, We're speaking Adamaka. to you, brother. Mm. You're not just a tech guy putting no, cables not. together. No, you are a warrior. a warrior. You are not just a builder putting mm. the building together, building blocks and mm. sand and cement. Mm. You are a, a warrior. warrior. You are not just a driver. Mm. You are a warrior. A warrior. So when you're driving, you're fighting. Glory when you're building, you're fighting. <laughs> yes, sir. When you're yes, cooking, sir. you're fighting. You're fighting. You <laughs> might be a little cook, but mm. if you don't cook, mm. the service won't go on as it mm. should. Mm. And the people who need to come eat that food will not be blessed to yes, be sir. able to go back yes, out there. Yes, so as you cook, mm. cook like a warrior. Hallelujah. Cook that food in tongues. Mm. Let that let it not just be filled with pepe <laughs> fire. Let it be filled with the Holy Ghost fire. Uh, yeah. Because Hallelujah. you are a warrior. A warrior. You are a soldier now. Those children you're raising, mm. you're not just a little lady out mm. there breastfeeding mm. babies. Mm. You're raising the next generation of kingdom-minded people Hallelujah. who are going to turn their nation around mm. so you are a mother of nations. Hallelujah. And as a mother of nations, you know you are a warrior. A warrior. You might be little, yes. you might be insignificant, yes. but in the hand of God, Ooh. he says you are a warrior. Yes, when sir. God looks at Joshua, mm. God is saying, Joshua, mm. all along you're thinking that you're mm. doing your thing. You've got no clue, Josh. I'm the one who's been working in you. God. God was literally saying, hey, yeah, Josh, yeah, yeah, you're yeah, going to yeah, take yeah. the back seat mm. because guess what? The commander of the Lord's Glory host is God. here. Glory it's not God. you running the show. You're not now. running the show. God, look, I'm Ooh. running this yes, show. Yes, you sir. may have been in a fight mm. too long, mm. and for some reason you're Shana beginning Farante, to think that this Christo fight Barani is on Christo. you. But we came to tell you that the commander of the Lord's host is, is on here. your side. Yes, and guess what? If you are part of God's army, mm. God is your commanding officer, yes, and nothing can touch you. Yes, nothing sir. can bring you down. Yes, nothing can fail you mm. because you are part of God's God. army. Amen. All right, the second thing you must understand, if mm. you are part of God's army, mm. you must know that now mm. there is the hierarchy of God yes, sir. in this army. Yes, sir. There is a hierarchy of God. Uh, I love how that God establishes himself and he says, I am the commander. Yeah. Uh, the commander is speaking to Joshua. Yes. He's giving him marching orders. Yes. He's telling him, this is what is going to happen. Yes. Joshua also goes down and he tells the people he yep. tells the the scripture actually tells us he tells the the priests what yes, to do yes. he tells the laymen what to oh, do yeah. he, he 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 breaks it down because everybody has when we talk of hierarchy we are talking of responsibilities yes. we are take we are, we are talk we are talking of who gives the order yes. and who listens yes. and who follows through yes. and who follows up yep. what we are trying to tell you is that you're not running the show by yourself no, there not. are people that God has put before you, the people yep. that are going to give you marching orders. Mm -hmm. You do well because you're now part of the army. And I, I think that's what God was trying to establish. Mm -hmm. You're not running your own show. No, you're not. You're running a show that I am leading. Yes. In other words, you ought to follow my instructions. You ought to follow what I'm telling you because there's an order that ought to be followed. The scripture talks of the man that Jesus heals, the centurion man. Mm -hmm. And the scripture says he's a man that understood that there was a hierarchy. Yeah. And he said, God, uh, Jesus, send a word. Send because a word. I understand that when you speak, there's an order of things that ought to follow the mm -hmm. instructions that you've given. Mm -hmm. So send a word because I understand what hierarchy is. Yes. I understand when you speak, when I speak at this level, yep. everybody down, the word is going to go down yep. Yep. To, to, to the very execution. So what God is trying to tell you, understand that hierarchy for your business. Understand it for your marriage. Mm -hmm. Understand that as a wife, you have somebody above you. Mm -hmm. Even you as a husband, you have somebody above oh, you. Yeah. And you as a child, yeah. Yeah. You have people above you, yeah. and you also have people below you, praise yeah. God. Oh, yeah. But it is important to understand that hierarchy because that's how armies win and win battles. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You know, when you understand the hierarchy of God, yes, you don't come to church to your friend, the pastor. Uh, your friend, might, your pastor might be your friend, yes, but don't make a mistake to think mm. he's there to be your friend. <laughs> he's coming as your commanding officer. Yes, sir. The instructions he's giving you are mm. coming from the throne of, of God. God. Here at Redemption, we're not laying empty hands on mm. empty heads, <laughs> speaking empty words, words to empty lights. Come on. We are speaking 
taking the very oracles of God, yes, the word we are giving you, we did mm. not download it from YouTube or mm. Facebook. Mm. This has been downloaded from the throne room oh, of God. heaven. Yes, sir. And when we tell you what mm. you've got to do, mm. and what we are giving you mm. is not our own. Yes, he sir. says, such as have been given, Ooh. I give and unto to you. you. You know, because I've been under the authority of God, yes. I can now instruct you. Mm. But don't take it like my own words. Yes. You make a mistake of thinking mm. that your pastor is your buddy mm. and the man of God in your life is just your friend. Mm. I'm not trying to be friends with you. Mm. I'm trying to get you to cross over in your destiny. Hallelujah. I'm not trying to be friends with you. Yes, sir. I am coming in the mm. name of the Lord, yes, sir. my commanding officer, mm. the Lord, the captain of the Lord's army mm. has given me instructions yes, and what I'm passing on to you mm. has come down the chain the oh, chain man. of command. Yes, you must put this in your spirit, guys. Mm. Mm. When you come into the house of God, you've mm. come to receive marching orders. Hallelujah. They have been passed down so from I heaven and something. you must receive them as Arita such Basandia. and you must act on them as such mm. because you are a soldier. Now. Hallelujah. As you possess the land. You're not yes, a civilian. Sir. You're not no. trying to get by. No. You're a soldier You're now a soldier and the soldier now. understands mm. he is part of God's army mm. and he understands he must follow God's hierarchy Lord and obey Number three, we must follow God's instruction. Yes, sir. It's not just about order mm. and hierarchy just for the sake, mm. for people to feel big and to feel good. Mm. It is so that we can follow the instruction and the training of God. Hallelujah. It is from the instruction and the training that God gives us yes. that the victory is guaranteed. Hallelujah. Because the one that is commanding this war understands the strategy, yes. understands the rules yes. of engagement, yes. understands how we're going to win yes. because we're not running our show we are yes. not doing the things that we are thinking are best for us no, no, no. we are sub we are allowing uh, the training for the for, from the one that is leading this thing yes. the one that is taking charge of this thing yes. we are we are allowing the instruction of the commanding officer yep. of the commander in chief, the commander in chief. We, we, we are allowing that and we're saying when we when he speaks we go with what he speaks. Oh, yeah. We listen to the instruction and we fulfill it to the dot. Yes. We are not trying to reason with it. No. We are not trying to 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 get uh, to invent things out of no. the instructions. No. No. Whatever instruction comes, we do. It sounds funny and weird that God is telling these guys that are supposed to take down a wall. Mm -hmm. He tells them to walk around it. It is a foolish. Thing. It's a foolish it, notion. It, it, it's a foolish notion. Yeah. But this is the commanding officer. Oh, he my, is my, the my. commander of the army and he says, let us go round it. I am talking to you and your mm. father is saying things that do not seem to make sense. And, mm. and people around you, the people that God has given you, they're mm. telling you not to go that direction mm. and to go the other direction. Mm. And, and you feel like they are weighing you down and slowing you oh, down my, oh, and my. it doesn't make sense. But listen... God has a reason why those people are in your life yes. and he has given you that pastor he has given yep. you that mentor yep. he has given you the people that he has given you if you understand number one that there is a, you're part of the army and that there is a hierarchy, hierarchy. to this ah. it only makes sense for you to listen to their instructions and to do as they have done eventually the bible says that the walls of Jericho come down oh, yes, not because do. the 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 the, the the, the the instruction was very akin to what they knew or it, it, it's just that they listened to what they were being told and in in the instruction i normally say in the instruction lies the ability to perform Hallelujah. if you listen to the instruction and you do that instruction the blessing is there that's how you're going to make it in the place that you have to make it for you to possess the land god wants you to be prosperous and yes, walk sir. in prosperity the instruction he gives you is mm. that bring the tithe and the offering I into don't. his house yes, so sir. he can open the flood gates of heaven. Yes, sir. On one side you look at your needs and mm. your issues mm. and you feel you don't qualify to give to God. Mm. God should be giving to, to you. you. But what you don't understand is that when yeah. you follow the instruction of God, yes, 
yes, when you sir. download the instruction of God, mm. you're ready to walk into what God has for you. Hallelujah. You are part of God's army. Mm. You're a soldier now. The yes, question sir. is, are you listening? Are you downloading yeah. the instruction of God? Mm. Are you submitting to the training and the mm. leading of God? Mm. It brings us to number four. If you are part of God's army, you are under the hierarchy of God. You're receiving instruction from God. Mm. Number four, you must obey. Yes. You must be obedient. Yes, sir. You must fall in, in line. line. We live in a generation where people want to question everything <laughs> and, and their minds are puffed up. The Bible yeah. says knowledge puffs up. puffs up. And they're asking questions mm. about how, when, where. Mm. And they're asking too many questions and doing nothing. nothing. The Bible says if you are willing and obedient, obedient you will eat the Ooh. good of the land. On, it does not say if mm. you are nosy yeah. and you are suspicious, <laughs> asking every question. question. And many mm. of us try to excuse our disobedience mm. by claiming that we want to understand mm. before we can obey. Yes, sir. That is a lie of the devil. Many people have a lot of understanding, mm. but they ain't doing nothing, nothing with about. what they understand. Mm. Matter of fact, the more you ask, the less you understand. Yes, sir. <laughs> if you ask so many <laughs> questions, you find out more and more that you don't understand it. Mm. I mean, if you ask the questions about the cosmos and the mm. galaxy, and the Milky Way, and then you find out that this galaxy is expanding at the speed of light, light. then you really discover that the more you ask, the less you, you understand. understand. God has not called you to be an understander. Oh, God has called you to be a believer. a believer. And if you are a believer, you yes, sir. are a follower. Yes, sir. And as part of God's army, mm. you must fall in line. Yes, sir. Don't ask, don't question, just go ahead and do. Yeah. We used to sing that song, we will understand it better mm -hmm. by and by. Hallelujah. I might explain to you, I might try, mm. but I don't know if you have the capacity to understand. understand. And even with your capacity, mm. the word of God, mm. the instruction of God is so deep, My so God. vast, yes, so sir. wide. Yes, sir. Yes, you sir. need an eternity to begin to comprehend it. Mm. So there's no time to comprehend, yes, just, obey. just obey. Get up, get on to it, yep. and just do do it. Yes, Matter sir. of fact, the more you do it, mm. the more you understand it. Uh, if you are sitting by your pedestal mm. and you're doing nothing, you mm. don't understand it. It brings us to understand. number five. Oh, don't just ask questions. Mm. Number five, be ready for action. Hallelujah. Be ready. Like a soldier, he always has his gun yeah. with him. Oh, he yeah. always has his knife with yes. him. He has his weapons he's, with him. Oh, yeah. He is in combat 24-7. He is mode. ready. He's in combat mode. Yes. He's ready standing. Yeah. He's watching. I always look at these guys that are uh, keeping guard of the president here in Uganda mm -hmm. and these guys are always watching. He's looking around. Mm -hmm. What's happening here? Mm -hmm. What's happening there? Yeah. What's happening on the other side? Yeah. I can't forget. I read a story last week of a, of a, of a, of a man that is uh, boarding uh, this place Plane. He's mm -hmm. boarding this plane and he's uh, uh, taking on, uh, 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 he's, he's in the business class yep. and uh, they give them a complimentary drink mm -hmm. and this complimentary drink is alcoholic mm -hmm. and this guy is a Christian. So mm -hmm. he says, I'm a Christian, I'm a born again man, I don't take that. So mm -hmm. the hostess comes and says, uh, uh, please, please take this on. Mm -hmm. So she thinks that maybe the packaging of this drink is the problem. Mm -hmm. So, she, you know, she goes back and uh, she brings another, she brings the same complimentary drink in another glass. In another uh, package. In another package. Mm -hmm. uh, more beautiful. And the man keeps saying, no, I will not take because I'm a Christian man. Long and short of the story, the pilot comes up mm -hmm. and he's also, he, he, he says, uh, why do you not want to take this? Uh, mm -hmm. Why don't you want to take the complimentary drink? It's free of charge. We want, are, are you not appreciating ourselves? service and the man says uh can, can 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 you first take that drink first as the pilot as you take us on mm. if you take it uh, maybe i will consider taking mm. it and the pilot says no i cannot take this alcohol because i'm, I'm on, on duty. duty come on and now. the man that is on duty says yeah. uh, i can't take it because i'm on duty and the christian man says uh i'm, that, on, duty I'm, too. I'm on duty too oh, 24 7 oh, i yeah. am on duty mm. i cannot be off duty and that's the same mind i wanted to share with 
with you as the believer, you are always on duty. You're always ready, looking out for what is happening. Be ready. What, be ready. Mm. You ought to be ready to get into action, to defend what God has given you, mm. to possess the land that mm. God has given you. Mm. Be ready for the fight. Mm. Be ready to stand mm. your ground. Mm. Be ready to stand and be counted as the men that stand on the principles of the word of God. Be ready for action because that is how we possess what God has given us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Don't think that you're on holiday, no. you're not on vacation. No. Be ready for be action. Be ready. You might be driving, be driving in prayer. Hallelujah. Be driving with your spirit Shagisa. alert, mm. seeing what God is doing. Mm. You might be in a lecture room yes. listening to your professor. Mm. You must be ready for action. Yes, sir. As you come to the house of God, mm. come ready for action. As mm. you walk the streets of your city, mm. be ready for action. action. As you go to that community meeting, mm. be ready for action. Yes, sir. God has got a purpose for you. Mm. Wherever he's taking you, wherever he's sending you, mm. you must be ready for action. Mm. There's no time to put down your guard mm. and have a jolly good time. Mm. Understand that the war is on, it is raging, and you are ready for action. Hallelujah. All right, if you're just joining us, we are sharing this beautiful day mm. from the book of Joshua, chapter 5, mm. and we are saying to you, our sermon title is, You're a Soldier Now. You're we're showing soldier you that now. you are a soldier now. Number one, we've said you're part of God's army. Hallelujah. Number two, you know God's hierarchy. Mm. Number three, you get God's instructions. Mm. Number four, you must be obedient. Mm. Number five, you must be ready for action. for action. Number six, you must be vulnerable. Yes, you see, when God, uh, through the commander of the Lord's host, meets with Joshua, mm. the first time, the first thing he says to Joshua mm. is, take off your shoes. Off your it's the shoe. same instructions mm. that God gave to Moses. Mm. Take off your shoes. Mm. It's the same instruction he gives to Isaiah. Mm. When he's meeting his people, he's telling them, take off your shoes. Take yeah. off your shoes. Mm. You know what God is saying? He's saying, before me, you mm. must be vulnerable. Yes, sir. You must open up. Mm. You know, when you've got your boots on, mm. you are ready to go. You can step any stones. Yeah. You can step on glass and keep mm. running. Mm. You're not vulnerable. You're not vulnerable. In order to be part of God's army, mm. you must be vulnerable. vulnerable. Some yes, of sir. you want to understand it all. Mm. Tick every T. Tick mm. every T and dot every, every I. I. Mm. And do your homework so that there's no margin of error. Mm. And you feel like you're not vulnerable. You're yes, saying, sir. before I go preaching, mm -hmm. uh, are they going to get born again? Mm. Will I get the results? If I'm not sure about the results, I don't want to be vulnerable. vulnerable. So I won't do that. <laughs> what God is saying to you is if you're going to be part of his army, mm. you must be vulnerable. Must be vulnerable. Step vulnerable. out by faith. Yes, sir. When Jesus says mm. to Peter, mm. Peter is uh, seeing Jesus walk on the water mm. and, and he says to him, Master, if it is you, bid me to come. come. Uh, that's a good mm. word. But, yes, sir. But, but Peter, <laughs> before you step out of the boat, yeah. you must take off your shoes. You must, you must your get shoes. Vulnerable. Yes, sir. When Peter steps out of the boat, mm. he's now no longer depending on his experience, his knowledge, or his oh, man made come on now. boat. Yes, sir. He's now depending on God. Yes, sir. You know, you cannot see the hand of God yes, sir. when you're depending on man. Yeah. Oh, oh my, oh my. You Ooh. want to see God's hand, mm. but your trust is in the hand of, of man. man. You ain't going to see nothing. nothing. You must be vulnerable before God yes, sir. and say, God, it is you or it is you. Yeah. I'm following your instructions and mm. nothing else will do. do. I'm going to do it your way mm. and nothing else will do. Yes, it sir. is not by might, the Bible says. Yes, it is not by power, yes. but by my spirit yes. says the Lord. The Lord that means you're vulnerable. Yes, Moses goes back into Egypt where they wanted to kill him. He is being vulnerable. Yes. Suddenly they resurrect the old case and say, Moses you're a murderer. Mm. We're going to take you to court. We're going to prosecute you for mm. killing the Egyptian. Moses is vulnerable. Vulnerable. Yes. If you don't want to be vulnerable, mm. you cannot be part of God's army. Yeah, and that's the mistake people make. Mm. They want to understand it all. Yes. There's no army, there's mm. no commanding officer that mm. tells his junior officers everything. Yes. He yes, cannot. Yes, yes. He must take them step by step, step, step by step, step along by step. the way. Yes, We're talking about you. Mm. You must trust God. Mm. You must put your faith in God. Yes, you sir. must be vulnerable. Yes, you don't sir. need to understand it all. Mm. You don't need to be the guy who has everything in line, all mm. your ducks in a row. Mm. Step out of your boat. Hallelujah. Get out and step out by faith. That yes, is sir. what it takes. Yes, faith sir. is a risk. Mm. When you still have your feet 
saddled with your shoes mm. what you're saying is that you can't take no risk mm. you can't step out of your comfort zone mm. you can't get uncomfortable mm. you, you want to be nice and sleek <laughs> and well taken care of mm. that is not the attitude of a warrior a warrior is ready to be inconvenienced like they are ready to be vulnerable yes, uh, as they follow God Hallelujah. God may have told you to leave that city <clears throat> as he told Abraham to take him to a city that he will see mm. he was vulnerable, vulnerable. Uh, anything could happen mm. things could go right or go wrong oh. but Abraham he was ready to be vulnerable as you step out by faith as a man a woman who is part of God's army mm. you must be vulnerable which brings us to number seven. 7 number 7 this is very key yes, if sir. you are a child of God part of God's beautiful army mm. you must not only be vulnerable but you must also be clean yes sir and and you see God speaks to to Joshua and he says take off your feet i mean your shoes from your feet so that mm. he's vulnerable before him mm. but so that he's also clean because you see these feet have been going everywhere mm. these shoes have been going everywhere. everywhere they've been they've been in the dung they've been in the mud they've mm. been in the in the water they've been in the sewers they mm. they kind of stinky mm. and, and god is saying i want you to clean up mm. and as you clean yourself up mm. you are ready to serve in god's army Hallelujah. i'm reminded of what jesus said to peter and the disciples again mm. he, he told them on that beautiful day yes, when he washed their feet mm. he washed their feet and he cleansed their feet mm. and peter said look master this is a good thing i mean mm. you could just be giving us a bath i mean <laughs> i mean why only the Full feet don't, don't just wash my feet mm. wash my entire body and, and and Jesus said to Peter no 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 mm. your body is clean you've mm. been cleansed by my word mm. it's your feet that need to be clean mm. what Peter was being told by the Lord is your heart is pure mm. but your ways where mm. you're walking you get contaminated yes. and every now and then you need to be cleaned yes, and in order for that to happen you must be humble mm. you must humble yourself before God oh, yeah. and say God you know what it is mm. you who cleanses me yes, it is you who directs me mm. you know if you're not humble before God mm. you won't be cleaned yes, sir. you won't get better yes, sir. you won't improve no. what God is saying when he says take your your shoes, shoes off your off. feet what mm. he's saying is that humble yourself yes. let me guide you mm. let me lead you let mm. me direct you mm. let me show you the way that you should walk in yeah. and that brings us finally to number 7 yes. we've had to hurry this one up here but yeah. finally number 7 pastor charlie yeah. you must be with god, god. you're yes. a soldier now yes. and you're part of god's army yep. you can't do this on your you own do it you on your do own. it with god hallelujah you do it with god hallelujah. because without god your nothing without yes. him you are insignificant your weak Mm. you cannot rely on your strength yes. you cannot rely on your ability yes. that's why he comes and he introduces himself yes. as the commander of the army that wins yes. he is the commander of that army that always wins he doesn't he step wins. into a battle that he cannot win mm. god is the lord of hosts the god that wins all battles and even in your situation Hallelujah. he wins and he will win for you Hallelujah. stay with god. God. Stay with God. Be with God. Be with God. Allow him be the commanding officer in your life. Oh, the commanding officer of your battles, yes. the commanding officer of everything. Oh, come on. You see the scripture says others trust in their horses oh, and my, others my. in their chariots. Uh-huh. How fast can I go? How, fast can how I connected go? can I be? How many horses and then, do I have? How many horses do come I on. have? And then he says but we shall remember David says we will remember the name of the Lord because they will stumble and fall he continues mm. to say but we shall rise and stand we shall from. rise yes. that is what happens with men that stay with god stay with they god. win and the things they win are not small stuff mm. david mm. the scripture says is able to beat this huge goliath because he had a testimony of how god caused him to beat the the the, the bear and, and the, the lion, lion and all of these things mm. david he, he he became a giant slayer because he did everything with with God with God. every battle David goes into the scripture says he conf- he inquired of the Lord inquired he said God. I am going with God yes. Do, can I go this way yes. can I fight this battle yes. and God says go. go and that's how he won the battles not because he had uh, matured and got a lot of experience mm-hmm. and got a lot of uh, uh, physique and, and and skill in fighting mm-hmm. but he knew that the power was not in him mm-hmm. and his ability 
humanity, but in the God that he trusted from day one. Hallelujah. Could that be your story, child of God? Let it be. Let it be. Let it that be. That you allow God yes. to lead you. To lead you. You allow God yes. to fight for you. To fight for you. You allow God Hallelujah. to stand with you yes. and cause you to overcome those situations. That's how we win and that's how we possess our land. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Guys, we want to encourage you again. Yes, sir. You are a soldier. Hallelujah. And as Pastor Charlie has said, your commanding officer is the God of heaven Hallelujah. and the earth. Yes, sir. He is your commanding officer. Mm. You fight your battle with God. Hallelujah. God actually says, mm. the Bible declares, mm. thanks be to God Ooh. who leads us in triumphal yeah, procession. procession. What that means mm. is you are marching with God yes. from victory to victory, Karabashani. from glory to glory, Ilidibusa. from strength to strength, mm. from grace to grace. Yes, yes, and yes, guess yes. who leads you there? It is God. God, oh, God leads you. Yes, sir. God takes you. Yes. He's carrying you and he's mm. taking you places, mm. doing in you greater things Hallelujah. because you are his child. Mm. He's your commanding officer. officer. And now you know mm. you are a soldier now. Glory to God. Eight things we've talked about. Number one, you're part of God's victorious army. Number yes. two, you know God's hierarchy. Number three, you follow God's instruction. Mm. Number four, you obey. You don't yes. question. Number yes. five, be ready for action. Mm. Number six, be vulnerable. Glory. Number seven, be humble. And number eight, be with God. If you are not born again, you are so far from God. Mm. It's only through his son Jesus that you can come back to God. Because you see, your sin and the sin of mankind has alienated you from God. But God has given his son Jesus to be the reconciler, to bring reconciliation mm. with him. That's what we call redemption. Hallelujah. And when you come to God mm. in Christ Jesus, you're redeemed, brought back unto God. Mm. That happens when you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Pastor Charlie is going to lead us in prayer before we let you go. If you need to receive Jesus in your heart, pray this prayer with us. Say, dear Lord Jesus, dear Lord Jesus, come into my heart, come into my heart, and forgive me, and forgive from me. From today, I repent. From today, I repent of my sin, of my sin. Forgive me, forgive me, and cleanse, and me. cleanse me. Help me, Lord, help me, Lord, to become a better man, to become a better man. I commit my life to I you. I commit my life to you as Lord, as Lord, Savior, Savior, and King, and King. Write my name, write my in name in the Lamb's book of in life. The Lamb's book of from life. From today going forward, from today going forward, I will live for you. I will live for to you, please you, to please you. In Jesus' in name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That is so exciting. Yes, sir. If you've received Jesus today or mm. you're a backslider who's come back to the Lord, mm. we encourage you to do these four things. First of all, find yourself a Bible and read it every day. That's your spiritual food. Yeah. Secondly, pray every day. Mm. That's your place of power. When you pray, you are powerful. Hallelujah. Thirdly, find a Bible-believing church and mm. connect with it. You can connect with us at Redemption here online or in those outlets we have in person in the name of Jesus. And mm. finally, number four, we encourage you to reach out to us. Let us know what has been going on mm. and how you've given your life to the Lord so we can give you some resource, pray with you, stand with you, and encourage you in Jesus' name. Amen. You're a soldier now. You're a soldier We're getting now. ready to pray for you soldiers, yes, for you yes, warriors. Yes, 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 Father, yes. in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. we declare over mm. your people mm. that they are part of God's victorious in the name army. Of Jesus. We declare over you right now, yes, you're not a failure. You're, not a, you're failure. a soldier. You're a, soldier. You're a warrior. You're a, warrior. You're a victor. You're, a victor. you're not a victor. Victim. Yes. You are standing strong. Standing you are strong. doing glorious things. Doing you're glorious doing things. beautiful things yes. because you're a, soldier. you're a soldier. You're not running away from war. Yes. You don't scour and mm. cry no, you and don't. fall and no, fail. You don't. Yes. When the going gets tough, mm. you dig in and trust God. Yes, you trust when the challenges God. come, yes. you follow the instructions of follow God. Instructions when of God, God gives you his word, yes. you obey that word you obey and it. you run with a vision. Now we declare the, yes. the strength of the army, the grace of God, the, grace the of provision God. of heaven, the provision your commanding heaven. officer yes. releases grace and glory, and power and might, yes. glory and direction yes. in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. You Jesus. are an overcomer an because you are a warrior. You are Jesus. a conqueror, a conqueror. Through, through Christ that gives you strength. Gives you, you are strength. more than a conqueror more than a in conqueror. the name of in Jesus. Name of we Jesus. declare it right now Shana in your life. Shakati. You go from glory to glory. From glory to you glory. go from strength to strength. Yes. You grow in God. You grow in lips and bounds. Yes. In Jesus' in name mighty Jesus. name. Yes. We declare it now. We receive mm. it for you right now. Right. We release you to possess the land. We release you to occupy the space. Occupy we the declare space. you possess the land. Possess the land the of land. your health, 
the land yes. of your business, yes. that building, that, 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 that city, that, that nation, that, that church, that church you are possessing the land yes. because you are a soldier. Now. We release it, we declare it, we command it in Jesus' name. And everybody say, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you, mighty warriors. Mm. Go forth and conquer in Jesus' name. Bye-bye. Our lines are open for counseling on Airtel on plus 256-759-777-444 and on MTN on plus 256-783-258-049. Saints of God, the principle of sowing and giving still works today. Your giving is a critical key to your prosperity. You can send your tithe, offering, and miracle seed by mobile money on Airtel on plus 256-759-777-444 and on MTN on plus 256-783-258-049. You can also send through our website on www.redemptionglobal.net. Remember, a giving heart is a cheerful heart.